Vincent from the Wald Lake Penny Saver. And I'm Drew Edwards from the Down River Mob. And we're the Dollar Show Critics. We go to the theaters where multiplex is a singleplex. That means there's one screen. Who know? And this week we're coming to you on location with a special 10th episode. And thanks to the good people at Imagine Theaters, this is an early review. And this week's movie is I Love You Man, starring Paul Rudd and Jason Segel. And Paul Rudd stars as Peter Clavin in this. No relation to Cliff, by the way, in case you're wondering. And he's newly engaged to his girlfriend, Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. And as they're preparing to get married, Paul Rudd finds out that he has no guy friends to be his best man. So he goes to visit a bunch of men and go try to go on mandates, which I just found very odd and strange that this guy doesn't have any friends that are guys, they're all women. And he's not gay. And while Peter's trying to sell Lou Ferrigno's house, he meets Sydney, played by Jason Siegel. And he, he's like the nice kind of stoner guy. He's just hanging out. He's basically just there for the food and the old hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> so they strike up a friendship and they go and get beers and have dinner here and there and go back to um, Sydney's house and play a little rush on the guitar and do a little air guitar and before it. it. It seemed kind of fun and humorous at the time. Overall, I found this movie pretty entertaining for the most part. Uh, what do you think, Gordon? Yeah, Drew, I pretty much found it the same way. It was a, it was an entertaining movie. This is an enjoyable movie. I mean, it's not laugh out loud funny all the time. There's definitely it's moments where it's it's you know it's pretty funny. Jason Segel's really good as uh, Sidney Fife. I mean, he's he's a likable character. You like the guy yourself. No relation to Barney Fife. But uh, Rashida Jones is good, and oh, Jamie Presley and John Favreau is like their best friend couple. Oh yeah, so they're good. they're really funny actually, and uh, just a great cast in this movie. And yeah, they were it, it was. Definitely a, a good time at the movies. It's it's almost worth your dollar. I'm going to have to give this movie a sort of worth your dollar. I mean, it's not really that funny, but it's not really that not funny, if you catch my drift. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Drew. I'm going to give it a sort of worth your dollar also. It is sort of worth your dollar. I mean, if you're, if you're in the mood for a comedy like this, yeah, you're not going to just be busting a gut. But you will have a good time. You enjoy the characters. Yeah. You, you like to see where the story plays out, and it's all harmless enough. It seems that way. So that'd be two sorters for I love you, man. Oh, yeah. you, dude. And for our DVD pick this week, I'm going to go with the 1999 suspense thriller Arlington Road, starring Jeff Bridges and Tim Robbins. Jeff Bridges plays Michael Faraday, a professor at a Washington University who teaches a class on terrorism, conspiracy theories, all kinds of fun stuff like that. He, he, everything's going good for him. Actually, well, his wife died in a botched FBI raid, so I guess things aren't going that good. Not that well. Uh, I know, I know. He's had a couple bad days. And then one day, the new neighbors move in next door, played by Tim Robbins and Joan Cusack. Tim Robbins, Oliver Lang, seems like a nice enough guy, but sooner or later, through a series of circumstances, Jeff Bridges comes to suspect that he might not be who he says he is, and in fact, might be planning a terrorist attack on Washington. What I liked a lot about this movie especially was the acting. Uh, Jeff Bridges and Tim Robbins do great great work here as the uh, as the two leads. I mean, Jeff Bridges getting ever more paranoid and, and, you know, out of his wits, and Tim Robbins becoming ever more sinister, but still keeping his cool. Now, the plot at the very end, if you do think about it for more than five minutes, it does tend to be kind of ridiculous. However, that being said, there's a fair amount of suspense generated as, as Jeff Bridges tries to find out what's going on here, and... I mean, it's just got one of the most gut-wrenching, like, sucker-punch endings that you, you don't see too much in Hollywood these days. For that reason alone, I say go out, and if you're a fan of either of these actors, too, rent Arlington Road. That's another good choice there, Corey. I like this movie for the most part. I mean, I did find the end to be a little bit too far off there. Sure. It was just kind of unpredictable. I mean, they're not really real. But I did like Jeff Bridges and Tim Robbins. They both played excellent characters here, as you said, um... Tim Robbins is, is the like evil guy, but holding his cool, and Jeff yeah. Bridges just steadily going crazier and crazier. Exactly. And, yeah. Yeah, he was great, especially for the facial features he had. Jeff Bridges, <laughs> he has that tongue thing he does. He's kind of like like a like a gecko lizard or something. <laughs> I don't know what he is of a, a kimono dragon. He just likes to stick his tongue out in weird ways. And let's let's give Joan Cusack a mention, who usually plays these funny roles. Oh yeah. She you. was very creepy she, in this she movie. She was creepy as kind of like a June Cleaverish wife, but you knew that she couldn't possibly be as nice as she seemed. To a be. June Cleaver who might have a cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's well put, Drew. Well put. <laughs> so if you're up for a good night of suspense and drama and some action here, go rent Arlington Road. All right.
right, and we'll be back next week, back in our regular basement studio, for another Dollar Show and another DVD pick. Until then, we're the Dollar Show critics, and we'll see ya. Yeah, it's pretty windy out here, Drew. It's windy. I hope, uh, I hope the, uh, the wind didn't affect you.